Hello, uh, another quick unboxing. This time it's for the uh, Moser Slypod E motorized telescopic camera pole and its remote, which is in that box there. So we'll start with the remote, get that opened up and um, have a look and see what we get inside. been stamped which is um, kind of thorough quick instruction book basically detailing what the buttons are that kind of thing it actually looks reasonably informative uh, it's in English and what looks like Chinese uh, no other languages there's that which is Obviously, part of it as a of its grip. And then let's just dig that out there. There's a USB lead, USB A to C. That's all that's in there. So there's the actual device there. So you twiddle that to control it. That must be its little antennae, I guess. And that kind of fits on. I'm not going to drop it, of course. That kind of fits on like that to um, to facilitate its grip, I guess. So I've, just got, I've got to screw that in a long way by the look of it. Mm -hmm. Here's some music. Maybe I'm not doing that right. Don't know. I don't think I've done that right. Unscrew it. Oh, it doesn't need to be because the pole's quite big anyway, I think. It's meant to sort of, oh, I don't know. That seems unusually long, doesn't it? It does seem very long. Mm. Generally the first time I've seen that. <laughs> I think it shows. So I'm going to pop that back in there. I'm going to shove that back on there. And we'll pop that back in there. Because there's not actually much of an end to that. It's obviously what you use to, to grip it onto things. So I'll slide that out of the way now. Uh, the remote control actually was free. I think they retail for about £99. But when I bought this, they were doing an offer. So I wasn't going to get the remote. Which is why I haven't really bothered researching what it looks like before I've opened it. But I never do that anyway. I just open things and see what happens. Um, I'd go, I sort of base it on the fact that most companies rely that, you know, want to sell their products to idiots, <laughs> so they make them easy to use. <laughs> so that way you sell it to more people. If, if a product was only for experts, then that's quite a niche market if you think about it. So if, if you've got, obviously there's a certain balance between the function. Obviously if it's got expert functions and experts, you know, it's might be more complicated than, you know, for example, a toaster. but. Yeah, still, you know, I still assume that they've got me in mind, <laughs> and usually they have. Uh, so let's get this soap open anyway. I'll clip it round to cut the other side. Oh, that's that open. It actually says what's in it on there. Look, you see. So let's just get it out. So that's obviously the the posting box. And this is the rather funky looking retail box, which is a bit shiny and lovely. So let's get this open now. See what's inside. Packaging. Nothing else in there. Just a, just another one of those, basically, because it's got a, a rubber thing at each end. So I'll just drop that onto the floor. Um. Oh, another box. <laughs> well, it's in a bag anyway. 
take that off. So this is um, obviously the carry bag for it. Quite a nice zip. Let's see what we've got in here. That looks like it's the tripod bit of it. Which it is. So that's the tripod bit that you can stand it on. That's the USB-C charging cable. That's going to be for um, attaching things to it. Like your camera and stuff. A little manual. So yeah, an overview of it. Getting started, what the buttons do, that kind of thing. That's all looking all right. There's um, some QR codes. I do like a QR code. I think they are rather... They are, oh, they're genius, frankly. Um, so it's nice to see a QR code there. There's uh, the app, because a lot of it's controllable with an app. So, yeah, small but effective. I think you can see that manual is. Uh, strap. Just, you know, strap. And we've got to get this out. It's velcroed in, so there must be a way of undoing that somehow. I can't find the end of it at the moment. There we go. And then that just sort of pops out of that end and then lifts out. That's the bag empty. So that is, that does, it's a good quality bag, to be fair. It says a little branded flash on it as well, which is kind of nice. So here's the actual device itself. Um, yeah, so what it does, you, you mount that onto a tripod and then it, it, it sort of bzzz, moves itself out and about and that, that screws on the bottom so that you've got you can hold it ver vertically and then away you go but I don't think, let's see if it's got any juice in it that's it sort of I don't think it's got any juice if I press and hold that see what it does doesn't do anything at all uh, it might not even be the on switch no idea how it works at the moment. It's just a bit cool, isn't it? But it doesn't, I mean, it flashes red, so I don't think it's got much charge in it, so I can't use it at the moment. It's not doing anything, so I'll have to put it on charge and see what it does. So, yeah, that's it. It doesn't, no, oh, wrong way around. That's much nicer. It doesn't look that exciting, but. Um, there's very good reasons why this is uh, a really useful thing to have when you're doing um, when you're filming um, but I won't bore you with that I'm going to use it quite a lot in my upcoming videos um, so you'll sort of see it in action but anyway that's it unboxed and it was very nice to get the remote free although whether I'll use it or not I don't know because obviously it's controllable with an app and it's Bluetooth so that might be why the the, um, the remote was free because no one really buys them I guess but anyway yeah any questions any comments uh, stick them in the comments um, I reply to all my comments uh, so um, yeah as ever thanks for watching